Coming up on this episode of the Santana Moss Show podcast, I'll tell you why I've changed his name from Santana Moss to Santana Escobar. Dwight Howard just signed with the Washington Wizards, and we'll tell you what we think about that. Isaiah Thomas once said, back the Brinks truck up for me in Boston. Well, now he got the veteran minimum in Denver. Not exactly a Brinks truck. Beep, beep, (laughs) beep. And then we'll talk about the L's we've taken in life. Most people consider those losses, but Santana has a different definition. But you know what is a winner? The Santana Moss Show. It's a Santana Moss Show. Former through the ball Number 89. Hustle all the time. Travis on the right. Hot mic on the left. Every single week is a lyrical fact. Now I'm ready to go. Just like that. You're ready to go. Woo! The Santana Moss Show podcast is back and in a big way. Huh? Welcome back. Santana Escobar Yeah. to my right. We'll get into that nickname in a little bit. It's been two weeks. We got to catch two up. Weeks, Let's start with your life. Yeah. It is your show, your namesake, your <laughs> brainchild. Let's start with your camp first. Yeah. Um, First of all. It's been a whirlwind of uh, really a asked. few weeks, and um, I enjoyed every bit of it. Um, the 89 Ways to Give um, Foundation, we hosted our second annual Moss Academy summer camp this year. I like the jerseys y'all had, too. Hey, when I say this thing has grown so much in two years that already I'm thinking, like today I leave here and go with a meet. I have a meeting after this to go meet with my manager and talk about expanding the weeks. Like the camp oh. was a success from the people I invited, from the different occupations and, and uh, sources of Loudoun County and Leesburg that showed up, fire department, police department, uh, different athletes, people that's in TV now, play football, you name it. The kids got so much education beyond football that it's a success. I feel like it's only right to get them another week. You know, you see a lot of camps going on. It was camps there. We was at um, uh, Evergreen mm-hmm. um, uh, Sports Complex down in Loudoun County. And there's so many camps going on along with your camp, but you can see the parents coming in getting their kids from other camps and watching what you're doing because they're interested. You raise their eyebrows because of what you see. Every week, every day is something new. We got Gary Clark speaking one day. We got Fred Smooth speaking one day. We have Anthony Lanier uh, you know, speaking one day. We had the fire department. We have so many different guests coming in. It was a success. I didn't. Expect it to evolve so quickly, but it has to be more. I have to give these kids more because I feel like I will uh, not serve my purpose, you know, of what I'm trying to give them if I don't. So I have to make it two weeks. So for all the parents and all of you know fans that's out there that's listening, uh, the Moss Academy next year we are shooting for two weeks. Okay, there was a Santana Moss camp that was a success that we will be expanding. Then there was some braces. Okay. Uh, give me the backstory there. You go to the dentist, they say something's going on, go see the orthodontist, they tell you you need braces. Well, first of all, I, I feel weird. Man. Tell me if I, you <laughs> you're know. You're pulling it off, you say bro. I'm pulling it off. So, yeah, and, and here's then. why. Let me tell you why. You're a grown man. Yeah. I had braces from fourth grade, Tana, to eighth grade. At that age, everybody's awkward. Yeah, everybody, You know what I'm saying? Everybody's I trying have, to find out. Now, I'm who six they foot are. three. Mm-hmm. I had six foot three feet at that age oh. but i was like short and chubby yeah. so imagine that with a mouthful braces. of braces yeah it wasn't a good look yeah. now we'll say this tana <laughs> the summer from seventh grade to eighth i hit a growth spurt mm-hmm. i was playing basketball every day oh, so i oh, lost all the way to a slab I, so now i'm tall mm-hmm. with the with now my feet don't look like ronald mcdonald anymore <laughs> and the braces came off oh lord hold up Everything changed. Travis. I ain't looked back since. You heard me. They stopped calling you Travis and call you Trav. <laughs> Trav, what's good, boy? Hey. So you pulled them off because you hey. already grown. Yeah, I, I feel you. And it, it was crazy because one of the things I wanted to correct was my smile. I, I, I was a little insecure with it because of just over the years of just seeing that, hey, man, you know, my top. Okay, but not <laughs> right, okay. Right. My bottom, I have that little canine sticking back there like I'm a little, <laughs> like I'm a little pit bull ready to bite some. And I'm like, I want to correct it. Like honestly, if I'm going to be sitting here in front of the TV, in front of the camera, of the camera yeah. and talking, and, and why not correct yeah. something that you feel like you're not, you know, sure about? So, 
um, I went in, consultation, and I was like, hey, what do you think I need? And he's yeah. like, Invisalign's or, you know, traditional. Give me traditional. I'm one of those guys that I don't want to be sitting there taking things taking out. It out. Yeah, just put them in. Yeah, put them in. Let me go through the process. I don't, I'm not scared of how I look right. when it comes to what I have on. I feel weird, but I'm not scared of what I look like because right. I want to correct what I have. But I'm okay with it. So all that went on, and then I popped up into the dentist's office, uh, what, last week, right before mm. my trip? The day before my trip. You got braces the day before your trip? The day before my Jeez trip. I promise Louise. you, the lady say, so what do you have coming up? And I told her I was going to Columbia yeah. the next day, and she was like, no, you you, <laughs> you want to eat. And you, I'm like, ma'am, look, I can eat anytime. Yeah, right now, I'm trying to do what I have to do. <laughs> right. I'm all about my business. Yeah. You know? And I'm like, look, one of the things that's crazy about it is that I haven't had a vacation, a, a real vacation in like the last five years. Bro, you've been telling years, me that I'm for a you, minute. I kind of like just went on like, hey, I vacated so many years. Yeah. I'm not missing anything. Right now I'm trying to get this second stint of what right. I'm doing act going. act two. Yeah, act mm-hmm. two. Let me get this going. And then when I get this going, then I can have a little fun. And so when the vacation, it wasn't a vacation before it was offered to me. When the um, trip was offered to me, I was right. like, you know, I'm going to get back with you. And then it came back to me like, hey, it's business. Oh, you know what? I'm all about my Okay, business. so let's go there. Yeah. I mean, Santana Escobar is in full effect, <laughs> people. Santana fresh off a trip to Colombia. Tell me about it. I went from being Tony, Santana, <laughs> to Santana Escobar. <laughs> it was, hey, I stated to you earlier. Yeah. Best. Hold on. I had. Hold on, I, I want to word this thing. Say right. it right now. Take your time. Best vacation I had in my entire life, bro. That's now. Wait a minute now. Now let's stay. Hold on. Let's let me, stay let me in say that, that zone. Again. You, the Tana. best vacation I've ever taken in the years of me taking vacations, like, bro. You've been around the world, nah, yeah, yeah. This was the best. Been around the world, and I, yeah, yeah. I can't, can't find, find a place <laughs> that was better Santana. than Medellin. I, Word. And I won't lie to you, I had so much fun, I can't say. Mm. But I tell you, at a later time. Word. No, I had a blast, honestly. I'm, and I just did that because I know listeners want to say, what, what, well, kind what of happened? are you talking about? What happened over no, there? Honestly, I can do that because we can do that with you. Yeah, we can do that. And it's his but, show. He can look, do what the hell he want to do. Straight up. But I had a great time. I mean, honestly, yeah, I had the most fun ever. And I don't know if it's because I, I really don't know. And I'm laid back right now. Let me get out of this whole laid back vibe. Hold on. Let me give me a squeeze. Take a, take a, take. You know what? I'm going to do the same. Mm-mm. I'm back. Oh, that's tasty. <clears throat> We've been off for two weeks. Yes. So I got to give you what I was giving you before those two weeks that we took off. Bruh. First of all, I didn't know that the American dollar weighed so much over there in Columbia. Ah. We hear about our dollar and how much it's not worth right. nothing. You can honestly go over there. Let's say you're a guy that's working good, hard, you know, making a good, um, decent, hard, decent, yeah. decent, honest living, right. you know, working hard every day, got a couple of chains saved up, and you yeah. want to vacate and have a good time. You take $1,000 if you feel like you want to ball. $1,000? And you're balling. $1,000 make you feel like you're balling. And I'm sitting there, to me, I didn't know what to take. So I got my car, so I'm like, hey, I, I get over here and I deal with the currency when it's time. Right, sure. So I'm asking my business partner, I'm like, so what is normally what you take out? He's like, well, I got you guys, so he looks sporadic. And, you know, that's, that's, that's my guy, Mike. Right. You see him on the mic is one of those guys. Which one, in the middle? In or the, the middle. Okay, okay. It's Mike and my homeboy, Bo. You got know? you. I bought Bo because, I, you know, it was his birthday around this right. time. So, you know, that's what you do. When you got yeah. friends, man, you... You show them a good time because that's what we do. Bo got them back up off me muscles, too. <laughs> I can see that. So Bo Mike, ain't for play. Mike been trying to get me to Columbia for so many months. Like, hey, bro, you got to go next time. He go every month. Because that's the one that does business there. He's, he's a business okay, guy. You. He's about got his you. business. He okay. go over there, does his work, come back. Got you. Tanner, you need to see it. You need to see it. And over the time of, you know, us, you know, forming this little friendship mm-hmm. and relationship, Business wise mm-hmm. and outside of business, I said, man, when I get an opening, I would take a, I would take you up on that. Mm. Now the opening didn't come, but then when he talked, he say it was something that I might be interested in. Business wise, it has to be available. There's the you know? opening. That's the opening. I, I'm going to whatever I had to do. I got to go. He see, because I'm all about of course that bag. And um, got over there and didn't expect it. You know, you see the movies, the documentaries of yeah. the times with Escobar. Sure. 
uh, tone um, with Pablo and, yeah. and everything that went Unfortunately, on. Unfortunately, that is the the reputation. That's of the it. reputation, and yeah. that's what I expected. I expected to see like this country that was just still like right on edge. Like, yeah, people riding know, through people, with the straps. People riding through. Like when I go to DR, I'm right. almost frightened because I see the kids with a no AR-15s yeah. and M- M-16s. You got to stay there. on your resort. And I'm like, man, what what's going on over here? So no to go to Columbia and to know what the documentaries have led me to believe and just to see something different, it was amazing, man. Wow, bro. It was truly amazing to see nature at its best. Like, I sh- look, I don't know if it's because I'm the most boringest guy to take on a vacation because I like to go to vacations just to get away from my everyday. Sure. You know, whatever I'm doing over here, when I take off, I'm just free from that. Yeah. I would like to sit home or at that, you know, Airbnb or hotel and just chill. Sip on something, you know, listen to the music and enjoy that. That's, that's me enjoying the vacation. This is my first vacation that I really explored. Mm. I explored, you know, what they had to offer. The culture. Didn't see much because it's so much more for me to go back to the sea. But what I saw, I shared, and I'm like, I was amazed. I was floored by it. And that's why it was the most amazing trip I've ever taken because not not alone the beautiful faces you see. Yeah, we men, we women everywhere. Yeah, and, I was going to ask about and, that. And, and I knew you were, you know. <laughs> and, and we all, we all, you know, that's the first thing any dude will yeah. ask you. How was the women? <laughs> Bro, go for yourself. See for yourself. Beautiful faces. They're in shape. You wonder why everybody's in shape. Yeah. Everyone walks. Everyone, mm. you walk mountain. After, I had to lose a five or six pounds while I was there. I walked every day. I literally ate well because of the braces. I can't put too much down because yeah, my teeth, crazy. you know, right. so tender right now. But pollo every day. Mm. Pollo, uh, red beans and rice and vegetables. Like It was like, hey, I'm in, in Miami all over again, right. you know? Yeah. But the most amazing trip I've taken. And I just told you, I'm, I'm going back very soon. Bro, for that price, I might have to go. Oh no, doubt. I would take you myself. I mean, Man. we was literally looking up, you know, Airbnbs and hotel yeah. prices, trying to say compare the differences for our next trip. Me and my homeboy, we coming back. We like, so you mean tell me this five star hotel is forty dollars a night, American dollars? Oh, oh man, it is impossible. Five star, bro. Five star, bro. And like, <sighs> man, the way they treat you, that, that's something else that I, I had. I didn't speak on the way they treat you. I mean. Everyone's speaking. Everyone, get, you know, when they hear you, hear your accents and hear that you're American, where are you from? Right. You know, I didn't know much Spanish. Took Spanish. Hey, all you back at the University of Miami in Carroll City <laughs> and Parkway Middle and uh, Little River Elementary. <laughs> um, I learned a lot when I was there in Spanish. Uh, you know, you gave me those classes for a reason. They gave you the fundamentals. You gave me the fundamentals. But <laughs> I tell you right now, I don't know a lick of that. All I know is hola. Come esta. <laughs> I know Bonita. That's pretty. <laughs> I know um, it was something I used the whole trip. Poquito. Uh, that, a little bit. A little bit. I don't know. Ah! Ah! And I'm lying because I don't know nothing. All I know is a couple of things. What's the opposite of Poquito? So, Grande? Hey, man. So it was funny because <laughs> the guys I was with, we you know, my homeboy, so ignorant right he now. know exactly. I do. <laughs> and I felt ignorant. I felt like, ah, I'm lost. I'm like, I need a tour guide. I need someone. And it was crazy. We had a guy over there, Caesar. Caesar was our driver. And man, how much I love Caesar. I I, I text Caesar when I was leaving, and he texted me back, and he's like, bro, I'm glad to meet you. And he grew up in the era where Pablo was the man. And wow. he's almost 70 years old. I mean, this wow. guy drove us around, showed us a good time, showed us the life that he once knew. Yeah. And now how it is, and, and gave us the experience of a lifetime. And it was amazing, man. But um, trust me, Columbia, I'll be back. Shout outs to Cesar, man, if you're watching the Santana Moss Show podcast. Because with YouTube, you can do that. No doubt. Apple Podcasts, you can do that. Spotify, you can do that. Right up. He can listen, he can watch, he can do whatever. So let me transition from that to the Wizards. Dwight Howard is now Washington Wizards, yes. Santana. It is official like a referee blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Your thoughts, does he help put the Wizards over the top now that the Kang is out of the Eastern Conference? You know, Dwight's a little long in the tooth now, yeah. but do you think he will help? Or or hurt the team, long in the tooth. You're right. Um, the king is gone, and the East is wide open. With that said, when it comes to the Wizards, what Dwight Howard do we get? Super, right, Superman or 
hey, I'm Dwight Howard and and this is what expected of me, but I'm just here. You know what I'm saying? I've watched different Dwight Howards, you know, for the f- last few years. To me, he's still Superman. Like, I got to look at him. I know really? Shaq, Shaq gave him a lot of slack for that that Superman title because Shaq didn't want no one else to share that with him. I truly, uh, um, you know, hey, Shaq, I, you know, you know, I don't, I don't fault you for that. Mm-hmm. But Dwight Howard has showed so much prominence that he can be a special guy on any team if he just put all the BS aside. And right. I'm hoping that that's the Dwight Howard we get. And this city's going to give him a lot. Yep. But I'm sure that through his path that he's taken to be here with us now, he's seen it all, you know. And it's time to win, man. You have two special guys out there, two special guys out there that's been sh- giving their heart. You know, um, Bradley and John, man, they've been giving their heart. And one of the things I, th- I feel we, we missed last year was a, a, a guy down low. You know, I feel like we really didn't have nobody that can get the rebounds, that can really Box know, shots. defend down there yeah. when it came to the critical situations that we saw in the postseason. And if the White Haven could be that, that guy for us, then we win. We win, and we we see ourselves go further. And I'm 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 happy for him because, as an athlete, you want a chance. Right. All you want is an opportunity. And I've been those guys that I've been a guy that, you know, honestly, I've had an opportunity to to play for a long time with right. the same team. Or uh, I played on two different teams, but ten years with one team, that's rare. And to see so many basketball greats and and legends that bounce around, man, you like, man, like you wonder like what it's like to be. You know, feel like you know, uh, chopped liver sometimes. You know, and he's a guy, he's a great talent. So if he can really come here and and settle and say, look, let me let me let this city know the real Dwight Howard. Let me let this city know that what I can bring to this team. You know what? Honestly, he's been forgotten for the last few years. If he can come and just be, let me find my role and be great at my role. He can, you know, resurrect what he's done over the years and be that guy for the city and make us a champion probably in the future. From basketball to football, Julio Jones reports are he's going to hold out of camp for the Atlanta Falcons. Now, here's the thing, Tana. The guy has three seasons left on his contract. Yeah. I mean, what are we doing, Tana? He, saw, he put pen to paper, for God's sakes. Whoa. What's he doing? Hold my pen on this one. <laughs> he signed the contract, Tana. He the real deal. I, I, yep, yeah, I, I mean, come I give, on. No, he's a real deal. I give him that. What's going on now in our league is that guys are watching other guys. Mm. And I'm not even sure if it's about Asians or not because I remember when I was one of those guys that I just played ball. I let the Asians deal with the things that they had to deal with. If an Asian told me that you exceeded your expectations with this deal, then, then you know what's best. Let's go get this money. But if I got three years left, you gotta be how quiet. is it how is it possible for me to exceed anything with three years left? Right. Now, I say this to say that. I say that to say this. I mean, he has truly been everything for the Atlanta Falcons. Of course. On the offensive side. Of course. But you have to have some kind of humility and, and know that at the end of the day, it's not all about you, brother. Right. It's not all about you. Truly, I'm a fan. I've watched you from Alabama to now. And you probably, if it wasn't for A.B. going as hard as he goes over there in Pittsburgh, and it wasn't for the, the, the my favorite, you know, and, and that's not no, no nothing on Julio or A.B., my favorite is, you know, Odell Beckham in this league right now as a receiver because of his size and because of what he does to make him beyond of what those other guys do. I know do. you like A.J. Green, too. Yeah, you mentioned A.J. Him Green, I love too. A.J. Green. Yeah. But Julio, you have to understand, with all them names I just said, where do you feel yourself – where do you feel that you right. – how much greater you feel like you are than those guys? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know right now A.B. sets the bar. Yeah. You know, he sets the bar for many reasons, to production and what the quarterback has been over the years. Oh. That goes hand in hand. His production won't be his production without Ben. Right. You know, and without the team's success. So, Julio, is, it comes with a lot, you know, and, and I'm a fan, brother. Uh, um, I truly believe in what you've shown just – Find a way that you can really, you know, settle whatever it is with the Falcons because I know they need you. And I'm going to sit here and be be the first and tell you that they need you because without you, there's no Falcons. No doubt. The, the offense is not moving the way they move. But just I want you to save as much money as you can because I understand how they're going to do you. 40000 
a day for for the missed camp training camps right. or however it is. Or he week. wipes his ass with that money. Come on, brother. Like you know, save that money and yeah. just find some way that y'all can find a comfort zone where they can say at least we're going to talk about giving you something and go out there and ball, man. You are you are a phenomenal ball player. I watch you from a guy that in Alabama that might have a couple of drops here and there to where you don't drop nothing. Right. And that just show your growth and who you became in this league. Unstoppable, you know? Yeah. Truly one of the best receivers that I've seen in this era. So, man, just find somewhere where you can go out there and continue to be that guy because one of the things I've learned about this league, they will forget about you real fast. Sure enough. Julio, about you. Julio without the Falcons is like Harold Melvin without the Blue Notes. You'll <laughs> never go platinum. you never go platinum. All right, from one receiver to the next, Browns' Josh Gordon <laughs> going <laughs> to miss camp. Uh, dealing with addiction recovery, he's at some wellness camp essentially now you and i talked about this look you can't fault the guy for wanting to stay straight yeah, right want to be better but he is missing training camp so on one hand the browns right now are saying we support him support him. do you think that's a short leash on that or do you do you believe them well you said it first right they're the browns <laughs> <laughs> you got a josh gordon who's um unbelievable when it comes to you just watch his instagram alone you look at his instagram and he's I'm pretty sure the ladies that's following him, they like, uh, what the uh, ladies say? He looked like a snack. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the dude is built. <laughs> hey, the guy is fit. <laughs> fit. I put the boy is fit. Fit. <laughs> the man is put together. You feel me? So, I've had some ladies <laughs> tell me though that that's not a good look. They hey, want a little bit of pudding. I'm pretty sure that same girl who said, "Hey, by the way, <laughs> oh. I'm a cougar." Watch your back. I'm pretty sure he's getting a lot of that on his Instagram. Dad, I just can't imagine what your hey, DMs look like, bro. It's, it's sad, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not that guy. I'm not him. It wasn't me. Shaggy, it wasn't me. <laughs> but, <laughs> believe you me, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Hey, but check it. Gordon, if the team's behind you, do what you got to do. Yeah. But show me something this year. Show me. I, and I'm, when he's on the field, I'm he balls. All, look, I understand that. I understand that, but you're years removed from what they put you on as yeah. far as saying that you're exile. Yeah. You, you, we don't want banned, you around. Right. So you're years removed from that. Now is your time to shine. Right. We've been – this this NFL, this league has been missing you. Mm-hmm. You show them what you can do when you was in there for those four, five, six games. Mm-hmm. And then you say, hey, I'm going to go and do this again. If it's a problem, I'm all for that. Go solve that problem. But understand this. As a player, a former player, they only give us a short period of time. No doubt. They're going to back us as long as they feel like that, you know, they can get something out of us. And maybe you're still on contract and maybe that value is still high because of the years missed, because of the rest, because of the less pounding that you've taken, you know, that the other guys have. Right. But, man, you have so much talent, bro. Get hold to whatever it is it is. And I'm all for you, bro. I, I, I want you to be right. I don't want to see you missing no more. If the team backs you, I'm backing you. But I want to see that guy that I saw that came back from from that time missed because you shown that, you know, we had a Megatron. We had a Megatron. And you was Optimus Prime when you was out there. It was. You was that guy. You was the guy that, <clears throat> to me, and besides Megatron, you know, we had Andre Johnson. And he didn't go by no name but Andre Johnson. And it's not – you don't see too many guys like you guys, T.O.s, the Andre Johnson, the Megatron, you – you don't see too many guys in this Physical league specimens. at the receiver possession yeah. that's built the way you guys built and that dominate the game the way you, you guys dominate the game. So oh. I want to see you out there. So, you know, go out there and handle your business off the field and, and take care of all that. But trust me, after this training camp over with, you know, show us something. Week one, I want to see a week one because the Browns have something to offer and I want you to be a part of that. Isaiah Thomas <laughs> signed a one-year oh, veteran minimum $2 million deal with the Denver Nuggets, but – before signing that, uh, a report has come out that he had said if Danny Ainge wanted him back with the Celtics, he would go. I mean, my God, Tana, the, the, the Celtics don't want the guy. Isaiah's got to move on. He did sign with the Nuggets. What a fall from grace for this kid. Fall from grace, and it's almost like that. You know, have you ever heard, you ever seen those memes go out and you see that little cap like, help, help. You see those memes, right? Help. I almost feel like my man's saying help right now. And it's not, no, trust me, I'm not trying to get on him because a baller. We've right. seen that. Yeah. 
you know, you just got to get healthy. You got to get healthy. And beyond the part of being healthy, it's it just I feel bad because, man, here's a guy that, that say, look, I'm going to prove to this team that with all that I'm going through, Right. My sister being gone from, yeah. you know, taken away from me, uh, dealing with this injury, I'm going to go out here and ball. I'm going to lay it on the line, my oh. career, yep. my body, my heart. I'm going to lay it on the line. All I ask for you to do is get me back. Take care of me. By taking care of me as a player. Now, I'm not saying make me the highest player, highest paid player. Just take care of me because I've shown you who I can be to you when you need me. Look at the guys in this league that get max deals. If that guy doesn't get hurt, he's a max player. Bro. If, from the Celtics or not, forget the Celtics for a minute. One if he doesn't get hurt, he's a max guy. And just think, two years ago, he was we was talking max dollars. Correct. We were talking max numbers. Correct. So to see him now fall from grace and to be sitting here saying, if if was a fifth, right. we all be effed up. Yep. It's sad because I feel like he can bring that to you. Now I'll say that to say this, like I said before. If anybody has a chance to have Isaiah Thomas, know that you're getting a winner, one, and you're getting a guy that wherever you slot him, whether he's with the first five or the second, you're going to have a chance to win games because this guy brings a different intensity, a, a different you know, uh, uh, energy to the court than I, anybody else. I like the Denver with his squad. Size. I like the Denver squad. With his him. size, you know, and the one, the one thing I've been hearing is defense-wise. You know, well, everyone yeah. says he can't, he can't play, guard anyone. He can't guard anyone. And that's that. But one thing he can do, he can score. Yeah. So slot him where you want to slot him at. Right. Bring him in and say, we need you to score Hit right buckets. now. Everybody else is going to play defense. Find a place for him because he can do that. Right. And I hate to see that so many guys of that size and that nature, they say, well, you can't do this because you can't do that. But, well, Muxie Bowles, all these guys have done it. Right. You name it. At that size or shorter. Yeah. And found a way. We can find a way in this era, too. This era, they play less – Man, it's actually more. Yeah. It's more zone yeah, than no anything. Doubt. So find a way. Yep. Find a way to protect your guy that can score a lot of buckets. Yeah. And I think that you can have a winning, you know, uh, group around him if you do that. Because I never seen a team that don't know how to find a way to protect the guy that has a weakness when yeah. he's a guy. Yeah. And, I, and, and that's what needs to be done. I agree. I agree. I think it's a little lesson in humility as well, though, because when he was with the Celtics, I remember him saying they're gonna have to back the Brinks truck up for me. Yeah. And look, man, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Don't, don't count that money before it's in your hand. Hey, bro. That's just real. All right, we'll end it like this. Taking L's. Tana, you've had an adventurous oh, last Lord. two weeks. Lord, have mercy. Give me some L's that you've taken to the face. Just just where you're like, man, this is not oh. going my way. Well, I'll tell you this. I've been taking L's all my life. <laughs> <laughs> and... To be honest with you, like, like I tell my kids at the Moss Academy, it's no L's. It's no losses in nothing we do. It's only wins. And the L's, we consider them as lessons. Every L I've taken was a lesson. And just this past weekend, you know, uh, we go to Columbia. I, I just shared with you that I missed the whole day on Thursday because the flight. Mm-hmm. That was the L to me. I said in Miami, we actually had a, a layover in Miami. I'm known to be on straight shots. I'm straight shot king. You don't king. like layovers. Straight shot king. You, you give me something to drink, <sighs> don't chase it. Straight shot. Right. Straight shot king. Right. That's all I want. I want it straight. And we take a layover in Miami. Hey, it was going to be a couple hours. Hour of that. Man, we was, we didn't get to meddling until midnight the next, I mean, it was the next morning. Put it like that. And I missed the whole day. Then coming back, another L. You know, I'm supposed mm. to get here. I want to be, I want to be right today. But I understand we missed two weeks. I understand right. we gave you the best of twice, first right. six, last six. Right. However you want to rate them, we gave it to you for the last two weeks. And I wanted to be sharp. I wanted to come in here Tuesday, ready to work. And I, I feel like I did that. But I, you know, I shared with Oscar. I laid my head down in the bed at three o'clock this morning, uh. and it was because of my flight again in Miami, the layover you know, was extremely long because other flights was canceled and pushed back. So we had to sit there and deal with the fact. So L's come a dime and a dozen, man. It was only lessons. Now you will never get me back on one of those layovers. I'll be on a straight straight shot. shot king again. (laughs) He lives again. Uh, Tana Escobar has returned. And this is the Santana Moss Show podcast. It's a wrap. Apple Spotify, YouTube, we're on everything. Show us love. Santana Moss Show Podcast. Santana Escobar! Hey, bye It's a Santana Moss Show. Former through your ball. Number 89.
hustle of a time Drive us on the right, hot mic on the left Every single 